Good morning. God bless you. A blessed Tuesday to all of you. On Tuesdays, we remember the angels. So I have all of our angels out here. And today is the feast day of St. Faustina. I hope you can see her statue. I put her in the front. She doesn't really stand out much. When I was in Medjugorje last time, a couple of years ago, I met a Polish family that gave me this holy card of St. Faustina. It's a picture of her and a relic from her. And they, um, they gave me the rosary that we, I have around Our Lady here too. And it was made by the sisters of St. Faustina. So um, we have some special things from Poland here. I've been to her shrine there in Krakow, her convent, many times in my years spent in Poland. And she is a great intercessor for us. Looks like this is really blocked this morning from all of you. That's a bummer. It's obviously not sharing with my pages. That's okay. I hope that at least those of you who are on my personal page on that Blessed Mother prayer group that you can find me. I have such a powerful rosary for us this morning. I'm going to read as the meditation some things from St. Faustina. So, um, but usually I have a few hundred almost 300 of you live and I only have 20, which means something's not working, but at least I'm here, right? That's a good thing. Let me see here. Sorry for the delay. I want to make sure that I'm at least on the Blessed Mother page. Somehow. Yeah, I'm there. Oh, well, Jesus wants us to be a very small group today because when problems happen, they're always in his hands, right? Okay. Well, we're going to go forward, even though Facebook is obviously still broken. Let me just share this. You can grab your coffee and your rosary. And we have such a beautiful time to pray together this morning. If you ever can't find me here, you can always look for this rosary on YouTube. I tried to do that. I thought when Facebook was down yesterday, I would have to start doing it just on YouTube. But you can always find, if you go to my website, which is maryklaskafiat.com. I put it here, but Facebook won't let me link it. But if you go to my website, I always try to put old rosaries up there so people can still pray with me. And I'll have to update the last week or so. But it's maryklaskafiat.com, right? 
So you can visit that. Let's try this one today. And we are going to do a rosary. If you are just joining us, we're going to do a rosary with meditations from St. Faustina because it's her feast day today. Right? And um, we will listen from her mouth, herself, and Jesus' words to her. Some powerful meditations for our rosary together. Man alive. This is really got some blocks up here. We ask these angels I put out to intercede for us and to open up the open up the torrents of grace to draw many souls to pray with us and um, to be able to find this. Looks like, yeah, they won't let more than 29 people on. Oh, well, you're the lucky 29. <laughs> okay. Well, we are still going to pray. And even if it was just one of us praying here, it's a gift to Jesus. So we start with the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name, all the desires of your sacred heart, in reparation for sin, for the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart and our final union with you in heaven. My queen and my mother, I give myself to you and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as a property and possession, amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. In this rosary today, we pray for all of your intentions and all of my intentions and the intentions of these pages. We pray for um, Poland, who gave us such a beautiful saint. We pray for those you know in your life who need the mercy of God. Maybe they need your mercy. Maybe they've hurt you. We pray for the mercy of God to flow, flow upon them. We pray for um, the projects of my books in the Middle East, in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in North Africa. There was a huge slaughter in Kaduna State again, and that's very sad. We pray for... Um, the Mexico and Belize project, I haven't really gotten donations, but we need about $10,000 for the missions there. And we trust that Our Lady of Guadalupe will touch some of your hearts to help. Pray for Poland and Russia and for um, this book on the spiritual formation of children that I was able to finish last night. And forming children according to the cross the apostolate of children of the cross. So we ask for God's powerful blessings on that. We pray for our priests. We pray for our families. And um, we pray for all of our personal needs. I ask for prayers. I got hit and my car was ruined and the man had fraudulent insurance. And it's just a mess because I don't have money for a new car. And I need a bigger car that's reliable for work. I can drive several children around all over so i need car seats and just enough for these four children so please just pray that the lord provides for me in the injustice of everything um what i need because i don't have money for a new car so we entrust all of this to the lord in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen 
I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For Pope Francis, the cardinals, archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we pray the Sorrowful Mysteries on this Tuesday. The first Sorrowful Mystery is Agony in the Garden. And we offer this together for the pro-life movement for an end to the murder of children and abortion. We pray for those making laws. We pray for those enforcing laws. We pray for those within our church. We pray for those who are in our homes who actually need help with a difficult pregnancy. We ask the Lord to protect our children. We pray for abused and trafficked children as well in the agony of the garden. And this is from St. Faustina. She says, Jesus loves hidden souls. A hidden flower is the most fragrant and I must strive to make the interior of my soul a resting place for the heart of Jesus. From the moment I came to love suffering, it ceased to be suffering for me. Suffering is the daily food of my soul. And she wrote, at the feet of the Lord, hidden Jesus, eternal love, our source of life, divine madman, in that you forget yourself and see only us. Before creating heaven and earth, you carried us in the depths of your heart. O oh love, O oh depth of your abasement, O oh mystery of happiness, why do so few people know you? Why is your love not returned? Divine love, why do you hide your beauty? O oh infinite one, beyond all understanding, the more I know you, the less I comprehend you. But because I cannot comprehend you, I better comprehend your greatness. I do not envy the seraphim their fire, for I have a greater gift deposited in my heart. They admire you in rapture, but your blood mingles with mine in the Eucharist. Love is heaven given to us already here on earth. Jesus said, or St. Faustina said, God made known to me what true love consists in, and he gave light to me about how to practice to give proof of my love to him. True love of God consists in carrying out his will to show God our love in what we do. All our actions, even the last, must spring from our love of God. Jesus said to me, my child, you please me most by suffering. 
in your physical as well as your mental sufferings, my daughter, do not seek sympathy from any creature. I want the fragrance of your suffering to be pure and unadulterated. I want you to detach yourself not only from creatures, but also from yourself. My daughter, I want to delight in the love of your heart, a pure love, a virginal, unblemished, untarnished love. The more you will come to love suffering, my daughter, the purer your love for me will be. The agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. 
St. Faustina wrote on January 29th, 1935, this Tuesday morning during meditation, I had an interior vision of the Holy Father saying mass. After the Pater Noster, he talked to Jesus about the matter which Jesus had ordered me to tell him. Although I have not spoken to the Holy Father personally, this matter was taken care of by someone else. At this moment, however, I knew by interior knowledge that the Holy Father was considering the matter, which will soon come to pass in accordance with the desires of Jesus. Jesus said to me, When I returned home, I dropped in the chapel for a moment and I heard his voice in my soul. There is more merit to one hour of meditation on my sorrowful passion than there is to a whole year of flagellation that draws blood. The contemplation of my painful wounds is of great profit to you, and it brings me great joy. I am surprised that you have still not completely renounced your self-will, but I rejoice exceedingly that this change will be accomplished during your upcoming retreat. I am with you and I will strengthen you in peace and in courage so that your strength will not fail in carrying out my designs. Be afraid of nothing. Love will give you strength and make the realization of my will easy. In this mystery, let's pray for the hierarchy of the church. Let's pray that they may know love and live the will of God. And let's pray for priests and for priests who are persecuted by the hierarchy at times. We pray for those messy situations in the church that come because men are fallen. We pray that the Lord may raise up priests who are as courageous as lions in following his true teachings and their conscience. And we ask that the shepherds of our church always be shepherds according to the heart of Jesus Christ. The scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Stabui, Blagoslavian Natin Yez Dejonami, I Blagoslavian Plitchereva, Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Matir Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini Vchas Mirti Nashi Amen, Polish. Strovas Maria, Waski Pauna, Pan Stabo, Bogoswavionis Timians and Evastami, I Bogoswavioni, Ovot Shavota, Tfaego Jesus, Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Moodle Shizanami Kshishnimi, Terasif Gojina, I Shmirchinashi Amen, Spanish, Dios de Salve Maria, Yenares de Grazia, Senores Contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, gracia plena. Oops. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus pentris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, 
Gaspod Staboy, Blagoslavian na Timia Stujonum, I Blagoslavian Plodchereva, Tvaevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Melissa Nas Grishni, Nini v Chasmir Dina, she Amen, Polish, Strovash Maria, Waski Pauna, Pan Stabo, Bogoslavian as Timians and Evastani. I bogoslavioni ova čevoda tvojego Jezus, šventa Marija, matka Boža, mudlše za nami žešnimi, tera si v godina i šmirči naši amen, spjeneš. Dios te salve, salve Marija, jena reis de gracia, el senjores contigo, bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, i bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Um, Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y conte, tu se benedetta fra le donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, Prega per noi pecadori, adesso al nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecadoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. We read from St. Faustina. Concerning holy confession, we should derive two kinds of profit from holy confession. We come to confession to be healed, and we come to be educated like a small child. Our soul has constant need of education. I will choose in making my confession that which humiliates me most, even if it be a trifle, but something that costs me much. For that reason, I will tell it. Secondly, I will practice contrition, not only during confession, but during every self-examination. I will arouse within myself an act of perfect contrition, especially when I'm going to bed. A soul which sincerely wants to advance in perfection must observe strictly the advice given by their spiritual director. There is a, as much holiness as there is dependence. Once when I was talking with my spiritual director, I had an interior vision quicker than lightning, of his soul in great suffering, in such agony that God touches very few souls with such a fire. The suffering arises from this work. There will come a time when this work, which God is demanding so very much, will be as though utterly undone. And then, God will act with great power 
which will give evidence of its authenticity. It will be a new splendor for the church, although it has been dormant in it from long ago. That God is infinitely mercy, no one can deny. He desires everyone to know this before he comes as a judge. He wants souls to come to know him first as the king of mercy. When this triumph comes, we shall already have entered the new life in which there's no suffering. But before this, your soul, that of her spiritual director, will be surfeited with bitterness at the sight of the destruction of all of your efforts. However, this will only appear to be so because what God has once decided upon, he does not change. But although this destruction will be only such an outward appearance, the suffering will be real. In this mystery of the crowning with thorns, we meditate on the sacrament of confession and we pray for the grace that we may have a knowledge of our sin and the courage to confess it, that we may make good confessions. And we pray for confessors and spiritual directors. She speaks of the great suffering her spiritual director went through. We ask the Lord to raise up holy guides within the church. And we pray for the gift of trust that even when in our own little lives, they might not be you know, doing something as great as the mission of spreading the divine mercy, right? But we pray in our little lives, when it seems like everything that we have done for the Lord is futile and ruined and destroyed, we ask for the trust that God will come in his own time and way and bear great fruit from authentically um, courageous trust in the midst of, of failure, right? We remember that the cross also seemed like failure. The crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. And in this mystery, we read the words of Jesus to St. Faustina, who was a suffering soul. It's his words to her in her suffering. He says, poor soul, I see that you suffer much and that you do not even have the strength to converse with me. So I will speak to you. Even though your sufferings were very great, do not lose heart or give in to despondency. But tell me, my child, who has dared to wound your heart? Tell me about everything. Be sincere in dealing with me. Reveal all the wounds of your heart. I will heal them, and your suffering will become a source of your sanctification. My child, do not be discouraged. I know your boundless trust in me. I know that you are aware of my goodness and mercy. Let us talk in detail about everything that weighs so heavily upon your heart. Talk to me simply as a friend to a friend. Tell me now, my child, what is hindering you from advancing in holiness? There is no way to heaven except for the way of the cross. I followed it first, and you must learn that it is the shortest and surest way. It is because you are not of this world that the world hates you. First, it persecuted me. Persecution is a sign that you're following my footsteps faithfully. Why at such times do you not come to me? The light who can in an instant pour into your soul more understanding about holiness than can be found in any book. No confessor is capable of teaching and enlightening a soul as I can. Know too that the darkness about which you complain I first endured in the Garden of Olives when my soul was crushed in mortal anguish. I am giving you a share in those sufferings because of my special love for you and in view of the high degree of holiness I'm intending for you in heaven. A suffering soul is closest to my heart. In this mystery, we bring all of the different sufferings that either you have in your own life or the people that you know and love are struggling with in their lives. 
we come and we bring them to Jesus in this mystery and tell him heart to heart. And we trust that he will take care of everything. The carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail, oops, Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboya, Blagoslavian Natimiesh de Jonami, I Blagoslavian Plodchereva, Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Ninivcha Smirti Nashi Amen, Polish, Strovish Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoswavionish Timians and Evastami, I Bogoswavioni Ova Chevota Tvego Jesus. Shventa Maria Matka Boja, Mudelshes and Amigjishnimi, Terasif Gojina y Shmirchina, she amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena de este gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadori. Ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu seno, Jesu. Santa María, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso el nel hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavien Natimiez Dejonami, I Blagoslavien Plodchereva, Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas Grishni, Nini ifcha smirti nashi, Amen, Polish, Strovish Maria, Waski Pauna, Pan Stabon, Bogoswavionish Timienza Nevestami, I Bogoswavioni, Ova Chivota Tvego Jesus, Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Mudal Shizanamik Shishnimi, Terra Sivgojina, I Shmirti nashi, Amen, Spanish, Dios te salve María, llena de este gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedetta fra la donna. Y benedicto el fruto del tu seno, Jesu. Santa María, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu en mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa María, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pecatoribus. Nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Sancto. Sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. 
St. Faustina writes, During the morning meditation, I felt an aversion and repugnance for all created things. Everything pales before my eyes. My spirit is detached from all things. I desire only God himself, and yet I must live. This is a martyrdom beyond description. God imparts himself to the soul in a loving way and draws it into the infinite depths of his divinity. But at the same time, he leaves it here on earth for the sole purpose that it might suffer and die of longing for him. And this strong love is so pure that God himself finds pleasure in it and self-love has no access to its deeds. For here, everything is totally saturated with bitterness and thus it's totally pure. Life is a continuous dying, painful and terrible. And at the same time, it is the depth of true life and of inconceivable happiness and strength of the soul. Because of this, the soul is capable of great deeds for the sake of God. During Vespers, I saw the Lord who looked sweetly and profoundly into my soul. He said, my daughter, have patience. It won't be long now. That profound look and those words filled my soul with strength and power, courage and extraordinary trust that I would carry out everything. He was demanding of, oh, everything he was demanding of me, despite such tremendous difficulties, and filled me with a special conviction that the Lord is with me and that with him I can do all things. All the powers on earth and in hell are as nothing to me. Everything must fall before the power of his name. I entrust everything into your hands, O oh my Lord and God, sole commander of my soul. Direct me according to your eternal desires. Merciful Jesus, with you I go boldly and courageously into conflicts and battles. In your name, I will accomplish everything and overcome everything. My God, infinite goodness, I beg of you, let your infinite mercy accompany me always and in all things. As I enter this year, fear of life overwhelms me, but Jesus brings me out of my fear and lets me know what great glory this work of mercy will bring to him. The crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God. I place in you my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast a solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from you. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, for our families and relationships, work and ministries, home and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, Virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, 
Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O princes of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our sides to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, confession in the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of angels, service of archangels, hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness, and warlords, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, against choking and suffocating, against destruction and accidents, against pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, against sickness and calumny, against jealousy, competition, blocking, division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every evil that could come against me, so that there may come to me an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. We pray for the souls that have died. Eternal God, we offer to you. Oops. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within my own home and within my own family. Amen. On Tuesdays, we do the consecration to the holy angels and to St. Michael. And after that, I thought we could do a chaplet of mercy since it's St. Faustina's feast day. O holy angels of God, here in the presence of the triune God and in the love of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer, I, and then say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a poor sinner, want to make a covenant with you, who are his servants, so that in union with you I might work with humility and fortitude for the glory of God and the coming of his kingdom. Therefore, I implore you to assist me, especially in the adoration of God and the most holy sacrament of the altar, in the contemplation of the word and the salvific works of God, in the imitation of Christ and the love of his cross and a spirit of expiation, in the faithful fulfillment of my mission within the church, serving humbly after the example of Mary, my heavenly mother and your queen. And you, my good guardian angel, 
who continually behold the face of our Father in heaven. God entrusted me to you from the very beginning of my life. I thank you with all of my heart for your loving care, and I commit myself to you, promising you my love and fidelity. I beg you to protect me against all my own weakness and against the attacks of the wicked spirits. Enlighten my mind and heart so that I may always know and accomplish the will of God and lead me to union with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valorous warrior of Almighty God, zealous lover of his glory, terror of the rebellious angels, love and delight of all the just angels, my beloved archangel, St. Michael, desiring to be numbered among your devoted servants, I today offer and consecrate myself to you. I place myself, my families, and all that I possess under your most powerful protection. I entreat you not to look at how little I as your servant have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze rather with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made, remembering that if from this day onward I am under your patronage, you must during all of my life assist me procuring for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses and sins, the grace to love with all of my heart, my God and Savior, Jesus, my sweet mother, Mary, and to obtain for me all the help necessary to arrive at my crown of glory. Defend me always from temporal and spiritual enemies, particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, and succor me in my last struggle with your powerful weapon cast far from me into the infernal abyss, that provocator and proud angel that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. And we pray a chaplet of mercy with St. Faustina. In remembrance of the crown of thorns he wore on his head and around his heart and the wounds they caused, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wound in his shoulder and from the scourging, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wounds in his hands, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wounds in his feet, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wound in his side, from whence blood and water poured forth as a fountain of mercy upon the entire world, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, King of my heart, I trust in you. O sacred blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O sacred blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O sacred blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and a treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair or become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its mercy to misery to your mercy to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own prayer we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace. Keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, 
that we may with confidence as your children await your son's final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart as through an open gate we pass through heaven. Amen. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. All of you holy angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We really got smashed here today in numbers. <laughs> but I'm so happy that some of you stayed and prayed with me. Have a blessed day with St. Faustina. And please pray for me and know that I'm praying for you. God bless you.